January 11th, uh, we went to, let me see how many, one, two, three new sites over in Lake Elsinore area. Uh, all that was found were some new coins, no old coins, so strike those off the list. And that's uh, about what's happening so far. I just have to do some errands for my wife, so... Um, I don't know, maybe there will be time to go over to the school site, we'll see. Well, we're back to the um, schoolyard site here, Menifee. Randy just yelled a weedy, so he got the first coin. Thirty-five, okay. Right on it there, whatever it is. Is that a coin? Yes, what isn't? What is that? Huh. That's some kind of token or something. Wait. No, okay, it's a V nickel, look different. Well, for a little change of pace, I switched over to the mine lab. Go find 60. Well, I'm to the point where I gotta start chopping down tumbleweeds again, I think, if, if I'm gonna find anything. Okay, V nickel. I think this is the third one I found already. Pretty worn. It's actually a beautiful day out here. Wasn't wasn't thinking I'd be able to come down here, but uh, ran a few errands for my wife and still had a little time left before the sun went down, so I thought, why not? Why not? I see it down in the dirt. Weedy. If I could make out the year. 1919 Weedy. Okay, got a hit there. Yeah, I was listening to the uh, yesterday the Gold Prospector's Space Radio. Oh, there it is, right there. Weedy. Anyway, I was listening to that last night, and they had uh, the guest uh, Kevin Hoagland and uh, Jeff Williams. So I called in and said hi. And. Uh, Later on in the program, Robert Ferguson called in too. He wanted had some questions about uh, metal detectors, but uh, anyway, they got me wanting to go out to the gold fields again. So I think Wednesday we might go out on a claim that uh, Jordan Bullo has, or it's his friends, and so he's going to. I've been there a couple of times. He's going to let us go out there. We were going to take our dry washers, but I'm, I'm thinking it's just going to be too wet for dry wash. Could be wrong. So we're just going to take some buckets and bring some dirt back and maybe do some metal to do. Well, Randy just got another V-nickel a second ago. And I've got something going on here. Okay, right there. I can see it, I think. No, that's not it. All right. There it is. Dug it out and didn't even realize it. Oops, lost it. 
Anyway, weedy. Thirty-seven weedy. It's there somewhere. There it is, sideways. I got it. Uh, I think it's an Indian head. So on the go find, when you have a target, you want the coin flashing, but also at the top there's a row of lights, and you want the lights to be green. And we got one green light anyway. Okay, right down in there a ways. I just double check everything. Okay, a little deeper. What? <laughs> oh, hey, here it is. It's in the clump. It fell out of the clump. What is it? Wait a minute, I've seen these before. Wait a minute, okay. Oh, this is different, half dime. I thought it was gonna be a three cent piece. Sitting, Liberty, half down Bully site, one memorial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine Wheaties, one Jefferson nickel, three B nickels, and one Indian head. And then just from other areas, we were looking around, just some memorials. Okay, so how many from the playground bully all together? Fifteen plus ten, twenty-five. And then Randy got the six yeah. others from other places we went today. Well, I got four V nickels, four Wheaties, one Indian head, and one half dime. So that's ten coins. We'll see what Randy has. He's Here's what I got. The Sitting Liberty Half Dime, 1857. Indian Head, 1897. V Nichols, 1910, 1906, 1899, 1908. 